you have to understand divine film or whatever. Divine is a, a name that's held in high regards in the spiritual realm, like to do with our ancestors and to do spiritually or whatever. So when we're out, when we're out of line of that, you know, and you're just putting divine on people just to say it, it's, that's not, it's like not properly being um, defined or whatever. Like you're basically sitting up here stating divine Um, anyway, uh, guys, um, so divine or whatever is like, it's a name that's held in high regards, spiritual divine twin flames, spiritual, like we toss this name around, you know, just lay, putting it on people as a label and it's a name that's held in high regards and it doesn't come from paper wealthiness Jesus Christ was not a rich person but still out of his will he fed five loaves and two fish so how do you think he was able to do that and still feed that many people, a multitude of people. Shh. Shh. Okay, I'll be in there in just a minute. Shut the door. Shut it. Um, how do you think he was able to do that? It wasn't off of paper money. It wasn't off of that. It wasn't. And people got all these labels and these different belief systems that doesn't add nowhere up to divine, to spiritual twin flames. You got to be a spiritual being doing the work. Being spiritual mean to be in the light. Not demonically spiritual, but of the light. Not of darkness, not using your energy to kill people, steal from people, destroy people, be hateful, be ugly. You're not divine. You're not even a spiritual twin flame. Divine, do you know, if you take uh, Jesus feeding this multitude of people with two fish and five loaves, and then you put divine on, on Jesus, and then you also go over here and you put divine Divine is a person that comes with the vine. Do y'all not understand? Divine is like a grapevine. It feeds. People can eat off of it spiritually. People, a divine being is, is very useful to the people. D being a divine person, you, a multitude of people could eat off of your uh, uh, spiritual abundance. It's not... It, it doesn't come showing Th that that's where people is missing the boat stop him from yelling in there that's where people is missing the boat at uh, whatever they see all of these divine beings and they look at them like oh you're not shit your opinion don't matter you're not nothing you don't have nothing you don't have but they be missing the mark because they could have missed they're missing out on spiritual wealthiness or whatever. Like if you're divine, you come with a lot of stuff that is of great value or whatever. You're a valuable person. You're needed in this world. And people just, they just been killing off those people, not knowing or whatever, because they're so focused on the physical. They're so focused on the physical. They don't know what they're doing. See, my mom told me a long time ago, uh, 
The hands is quicker than the eyes. So if you got a person that's coming out of the Bible, like Ruth or like Esther or like, um, who was that? Sarah or like uh, in Proverbs, uh, 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 Proverbs 31 woman or whatever. And she works with her hand and she get up at dawn and she got, you know, she attend to her own affairs. She not into gossiping and clicking up with people and being busybody and into other people's affairs, being messy and gossiping and all of that. She's busy knitting and uh, coming up with ideas and create creative stuff. And these beans did not come with money that you could see. These people did not have money that you could see. Being divine, a multitude of people can eat off of you. People don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're doing because they're 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 spiritual spiritually blind. They're 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 destroying people that is of great usage to the world. They're clicking up, and of course you're gonna have demonic forces that's coming against a divine being because they're jealous. See, they they have to go and purchase stuff to make them feel good. They come with paper money or whatever. Paper money is not valuable to a person, y'all. You're sickening. A spiritual divine being is that's valuable. It's of usage. It got great source in it. Great source, great usage, great things inside of it that where it can manifest money that a, a thousand people can use. But when you destroy it and you act as though you don't appreciate it and you act as though you don't care and you act as though and the ancestors seeing this, they're not going to continue to allow you to destroy their divine beings. They are here with their divine beings fighting for this world to come in, in uh, come in alignment, to stop being prejudiced, envy, jealous, hateful, killing people, stealing, destroying people out of our hurts and pains. So yes, a divine being's opinion, it matters. And it matters a great deal in this world. It's very valuable. It's very worthy. It's of some worth. And people can use it because it'll open their eyes to the truth of the matter. Don't let these people trick y'all. I'm sitting up here telling y'all, y'all, they have to pay for, you know, Sick karmic people, they have to buy their happiness. They're buying love. They're going out buying items. They're, they have to go buy a body to make them feel good. They have to, you know, they don't feel good about themselves. And a lot of these women, they're going and getting these bodies and they still feel like shit. You're still a pile of shit. You wasn't shit then and you're not shit now because it's you. You're the shit that you're the problem. You feel shitty about yourself. You thought you could just go buy you a body and all things will get better. You'll have all this attention and all these people. That's going to only work for so long and then it's going to go right back to your same old you. You're going to continue to get, dig that hole further and further and further down in that sin and keep getting your heart broken because you're going to realize that, oh, that man. And once they know that your body is fake. They're going to look at you like you're just a piece of garbage. Like you're just another per old person, another person with another boob job and body and butt job or whatever. Like you don't matter. Like, oh, that's all y'all. All Everybody got that. So you're, you're not going to be of any usage or matter to this person. You're not divine. You're full of insecurities full of hate, jealousy, envy. That's the reason for a, a lot of reasons why a lot of people go and get a body or whatever they look and see that it's other people that look like that. It's all these women built like this and they see all this attention, not knowing or whatever that that attention only lasts for so long. And especially if you don't have no giftings or talents to add to this body. See what people fail to realize a lot of people get attention and 
things like that drawn to them is because they're celebrities, actresses, artists, you know, uh, they're, of, you know, they're being used or whatever in a way, not saying that they came with that gifting because a lot of people will take your gift and use it. Not saying that their ending is not going to be bad because it is because they spiritually snatched and grabbed your gifting from you. They seen something that you had and they went and tried to do it and it worked for them. So they continue on in it. So they may get away with it for years, but I'm telling y'all, God, not giving these, not letting people get away no more. The same devil use you is coming back for you. So y'all just, I'm telling you, divine, divine ones, my divine chosen ones. I'm going to go on and make the devil mad because see, I'm tired now. I'm tired. I'm tired of playing with y'all. I'm tired of playing friendly. I'm tired of playing with these games with clicks and all of that. I'm not scared of you. God going to use somebody else to take your ass out for me. Okay? So I don't need to worry about you, but I'm going to speak my truth because y'all need to know what you're doing. Y'all have a blessed day. God bless.